Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today I will be showing you soft body physics while making this right here. It's a simple soft body simulation. So with that, let's get straight into this tutorial. So first, delete the cube, and then replace it with a plane. Then once you get a plane, go to the modifiers tab and add subdivision surface. When you add the subdivision surface, you can crank it up to three as a render and as levels. So once you have that, you can now go add an array modifier. And when you add the array modifier, be sure to unselect relative offset and select constant offset. Then change the z-axis to negative 4 and the x-axis as 0. Now go into edit mode and rotate this negative 45 degrees. Then while still in edit mode, duplicate this along the y-axis over 2 and rotate it for 90 degrees. Then we can move it down to and now because we use the array modifier we can choose how many times we want to duplicate this downward by simply just clicking the count personally i do five but you can do as many as you wanted this ball to bounce back and forth now all that's left for the pads is to go into the physics tab and add the collision now let's add a uv sphere then go into phys the physics tab and add soft body physics so now if you want the same look that I had, then you can uncheck goal and for cache, you can change the simulation length to whatever you feel like you want. And then under edges in soft body physics, you can leave everything the same except bending. Bending will make it bend and I turn that up to seven. Then check stiffness and that basically is all I did for this simple simulation of a ball bouncing back and forth. And now you can see when I play this back, it actually looks pretty cool. If you don't necessarily love this, then you can also try changing the mass because here is an example of a mass of 20, which is probably overboard, but does look pretty cool. And now if I change the mass back down to the default, which is one, and turn stiffness off again, here is what it looks like. Ironically, with stiffness off, the ball actually fell off the pads. So as far as soft body physics, I would just say that you should play around a little bit until you find something that you like. So as far as physics, we are all done. So let's go finish up the scene and texture it. So for some simple texturing, I'm just gonna simply put a black texture for the pads and make it a little bit metallic and a little more shiny. But now let's texture the ball. For the ball, I'll give it a basic red texture and then scroll down and change the transmission all the way up to one because I wanted to make it a little bit transparent. Then I check back face cooling and change the blend mode to alpha blend. Then I check screen space reflections, go to the rendered mode and then check screen space reflections there and refraction. Now that I have the texture I want, all I want to do is add some lighting and a background. So I'll do this with an HDRI going into the shading tab and changing object to world. Then I delete the background node and replace it with an environment texture by searching it. And finally, I choose the image that I found on HDRI Haven that I want as my background. And boom, our scene is complete. I hope you found this soft body tutorial helpful, but other than that, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.